Hey everyone, my name is Simsi. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Rome 2 DEI Divide et Impera here today on the channel. This is episode 7 of my Sulla's Rome campaign. So, let's get stuck into it. Alrighty, so we're back at war with Marius. Weirdly enough, both Marius and Sulla are dead. It's uh, been a considerable amount of time in this campaign so we're going to try and finish off the well marius faction now led by gaius julius caesar and the Sulla faction is currently controlled by lepidus with crassus and pompey his close supporters he's got some last pieces of territory in iberia well most of iberia a little bit of north africa as well we're also coming into contact with Celt-Iberian and Gallic tribes for the first time. We're going to try and get a trade with them. And we're going to march down into Hispania here today. Three legions are flooding into Iberia now. Okay, so they've increased in rank. Uh, we've got a legion down in North Africa. Wait, trespass or what? Oh, okay. I guess they were attacking rebels? Uh, Crassus uh, managed to capture and deal with uh, Gaius Maris in the last episode. So Numidia is actually at war with me now. That's annoying. So we have to deal with them. Uh, they still have... this piece of Gamantian territory under their control. That was actually under occupation of um, the Gamantians at some point. So we're going to have to go over there and try and liberate it. It's interesting that... Oh, maybe... Yeah, why have the Romans taken that? That's weird. I think, oh, maybe the Numidians are attacking them, but they're not. All right, so let's get Crassus to take this. Um, hmm... Oh, Occupy, I think. We could liberate the faction that is there. We can't just give it to the Gamantians, which I'll do. We'll see how we go. We might be able to hold it. It's just like, if I can avoid going into those far-flung desert territory, it's uh, probably not a bad idea. I'm actually going to move this army from Carthage down to Thapsus. And I've actually brought back Legion 1. It's been a while since we've had that Legion in operation. It's got a fair amount of skills in it. It's because the army got crushed with Sulla and I kind of forgot about it. But it's kind of cool. Now that some time has passed, years, decades, we've got a new generation in this civil war. Because normally it would be wrapped up <laughs> uh, once the capitals get taken. But this is a long and arduous civil war. Also in the last episode, we had some separatists we had to deal with. And we eventually found Gaius Marius. Oh, but here's Gaius Julius Caesar, though. That's massive. So he's currently trying to defend Hispania. Five-star commander fighting for <laughs> the liberty and sanctity of the Republic. While Lepidus is now in a full-flung dictatorship. That is uh, very weird to see. Anyway, let's march on in. Lepidus and Gaius Julius Caesar about to battle it out. Oh wow, this is going to be a massive battle. We're not favoured to win this one, so let's encircle and let's bring in some additional reinforcements here. Let's get Lepidus's son-in-law to help on out. And I guess we get this other army to push north. But uh, I guess we'll fight this one here today. It's going to be... A massive one. Lepidus facing Gaius Julius Caesar. Alright, welcome to the battle map. This is actually going to be huge. 16,000 Romans about to clash. They've got amphibious units, which we're going to have to watch out for as well. But Lepidus has the best army in the entire industrial complex. We've got a bunch of skirmishers equipped with crossbows, thanks to Syracuse. We've even got some auxiliary legionaries as well, and we've got another wave coming on in. So we'll try and hit this settlement from a multiple-pronged attack, surround it from all sides, move in our archers, and let's try and do some 
damage. And then hopefully this is sort of the main resistance they're only coming up against. So, so far in this war, we managed to crush a full legion in the sea, transiting. Pompey managed to destroy them, and we've crushed the navy, although we've taken pretty decent losses of our own. Crassus was able to mop up, you could nearly say half a legion in North Africa, and then obviously there's a full legion here. So there might be a couple more, but for some reason, what I've noticed throughout this campaign, regardless of the territory, Gaius Marius' faction seems to outproduce us infantry-wise and unit-wise. Okay, let's get some skirmishes to soften them up, and then we'll send the boys on in. And then I might even have a, a little old look for Caesar. Which is cool that he's in this mod. Face scanned in. It's like a younger version of him as well. It looks cool. It's different from his Caesar and Gaul model. Okay, let's go from here. We need to get these additional reinforcements in. So, we're still continuing on our series objective to take Rome, <laughs> which we did pretty early on in the campaign because we put it as our priority. And we still want to try and defeat the Marius faction, which uh, is easier said than done. This is turning into... This is part seven. This is probably... Seven hour campaign. Maybe longer. I don't even know if we're going to be able to... Wrap them all up here today. Even once we get rid of Caesar. I did try and sue for peace. With Marius' loyalist. Is we calling this, Ma this Marius' Rome solo? I could change the, uh, the thumbnail and the title. But I think it's just clearer to be a little bit concise. Like, even though Lepidus... He's been the dictator for quite some time now. I think it just caused confusion. But the blue and the reds, back at it again. But yeah, it would have been cool if we could somehow... I wonder if there, to be fair, once you get rid of... Well, the thing is, we've been at peace with them quite, for quite some time. I wonder if there was like a confederation mod. I should have downloaded at that point. Oh my god. What a savage animation there. We're actually fighting a Iberian ethnic uh, unit here, which is quite cool. Not only are we fighting our Latin brothers, but we're fighting some Hispania conscripts. Uh, what was the point I was going to say? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> um, I wonder if there's like a confederation mod, because I would have liked to bring Julius Caesar into the fold. Because although this civil war's gone on for decades, we have had some essentially ceasefires and some white pieces. I don't know why, but Caesar seemed a little bit bugged there. Did you see that? <laughs> it's like his helmet is uh, going through his skull. A little bit weird, but whatever. Right, let's move these archers up, and we've got to watch out for that naval unit. Some of them have actually disembarked and have gotten into the settlement, but it's still quite close for this one. I think they slightly outnumber us, just due to the garrison, but we I would say that on par, on paper, if you worked it all out, Lepidus and his additional reinforcing legion probably have quality over quantity. While only Caesar has a full stack here and then a garrison supporting. So what's going to win out in DEI? Quantity or quality? Alright, let's speed things up, because tactically nothing really is going on too much. It's turning into a bit of a, a stalemate. A meat grinder. Okay, so... We've done well there. So there's, there's essentially four pockets of fighting. We've broken through the center there, which is quite good. And now on this left-hand side, we're struggling. Oh, bear with me. We've got some amphibious forces... Actually disembarking and getting on the beach quite well. Okay. We can't allow them to essentially have free reign here on the beach because they could uh, really disrupt the firing pattern of our archers. The marines are not overly too 
numbered, but they're pretty decent units, the ones that come off the boats. Wow, what a crazy shot that is. So quickly deal with them. And we've still got the main attack group going and focusing on Caesar himself, the general unit, and getting the town square. If we could somehow get that fully under our control, we might be able to initiate a countdown, but at least get the balance of power. They are really throwing more troops here into this narrow corridor. Although we're attacking them, they're, they're moving quite a bit. Okay, if we can win that corner there, we might be able to open up a wider front like that. Okay, let's uh, flood more military units and assets through that choke point. And we're still trying to go for the center here. We're committing a lot of forces. We outnumber them massively, but we just need to crush and destroy. There's two pretty decent legionary units holding. And where is the man, the myth, the legend? Oh, there he is. He's still alive. Which is surprising. Bloody and battered. Gaius Julius Caesar. Horse is bucking quite a bit. Oh God, what's going on with his mouth? <laughs> Why does that blood look so weird? <laughs> it looks like he's uh, got into the uh, peanut, uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, Caesar. <laughs> he's got one caught in his mouth. Why is his mouth going so wide? <laughs> nom, 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 nom. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. <laughs> it was interesting, the animation there as well, though. His horse was going wild. Not unsurprising. It's in the middle of a battle. Okay. So, some of the units that are getting flanked on are capitulating. Oh, wow. We were focusing on that beach engagement, but... They've actually kind of thrown us back slightly. Uh, they're about to capitulate, hopefully. And if we can get rid of these three units, we should be able to win this battle. We can free up those units. The archers hitting them from the sides and the rear is probably actually what's doing most of the damage. Um... A lot of my archers are out of ammunition, though. Okay, there's some here that have a little bit. The crossbows. We don't have a... Baggage train, unfortunately. The general unit's now fleeing. Just trying to finish off the little last of his units here. And we should be alright. So this will be the third legion destroyed. Man, the amount of legions we've crushed in this series is kind of crazy. <laughs> but, uh, the way this campaign is going, we're going to be wrapping things up in the not-too-distant future. So, let me know in the comments, early now, what, you'd like, what you would like me to replace this campaign with so I can make some plans and preparations. Um... Obviously, Marius is always going to be on the list. Regardless, we're going to do it at this point. We're going to do it. Um, <clears throat> we're going to play as Gaius Marius at some point this year. Guaranteed. Because I love Rome. <laughs> I always play as Rome. And uh, I really like DUI. But I just think like playing Marius straight after this, it might be a little bit too repetitive. We might need a break for a little bit. Like, you nearly be better playing as Pontus. Okay, so the victory point is fully under our control, and the countdown has not been initiated. Oh my god, we've got some units actually fleeing. We are really struggling to push through that point. Nice. We did manage to win on that little beachhead that they created. So, how about now that the town square has been freed up, we'll try and push from the rear. Man. you got to give it to Caesar's soldiers. They are absolutely loyal, tough, and strong, and are going to fight to the bitter end like their commander. Speaking of him, he's actually recovered here. And this might be Caesar here, so we'll get the cavalry to engage. The Equitates. The Equites. And we'll get 
Lepidus as well. I don't want to kill you, Caesar. But, uh... I'm gonna have to... Is he there? Yep, there he is. Oh, no. I'll try and track him, but sometimes it's quite hard. I try to track generals as best I can. <laughs> when the fighting breaks out. Because you kind of want to see them slain. Sometimes you just can't. Because it's so hard to, like, track. It's bloody where's Wally. There he goes. He's falling from his horse. Or where's Waldo, wherever you are. It's Wally here. Yeah, there he is. Gaius Julius Caesar is no more. Lie slain upon the field of battle. Trampled in the end. The Julii Claudian dynasty will not come to be. Well, maybe Octavian's still alive, to be fair. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but maybe even, um, yeah, because Pompey's been remarried. Because then even that's in this alternative timeline. Pompey was never married to Julius Caesar's sister. Or whatever. Well, now that Caesar's gone... You'd think his units would instantly capitulate, but they're not. <laughs> Still absolutely fighting. My god. Alright, now that they're wrapping around a bit better... Yeah, nice. They're wavering there. Perfect. But a battle against Gaius Julius Caesar. There were some questions you guys were asking. Is he in this mod? Yeah. He's a part of the Marius faction. Just haven't seen him for quite some time. I guess he was hanging out in uh, Iberia for quite a bit. To be fair, we didn't see Gaius Marius until a fair few hours into this campaign. He's kind of like Bigfoot. I didn't know he existed. <laughs> okay, we've won now. Want to try and run down as many of them as we can. And we're going to claim a massive victory here today against the last remnants and pockets of the faction loyal to Marius. Okay. Nice. Massive battle. Probably numerically the biggest of the series. Did we? I think we've had a couple 10Ks, a couple 12Ks. Have we had a 16,000 man battle? Maybe. But, uh, what a crazy result. Dictator, Marcus Lepidus. More or less an emperor at this point. Has now crushed. Gaius Julius Caesar upon the field of battle. Marius as well. Who's going to take control of the faction? Who knows? <laughs> They're running out of generals. Let's end that one there. Would you look at that? Whew. And now we're going to take our first piece of territory in the Roman province of Hispania. Like the actual province. And we're going to try and continue to Run down the last of their settlements. And hopefully, we're going to have some last little bits of resistance. But they mustn't have many, too many more armies. You'd think, but you never know. There could be like three legions just hanging out there. They're not interested in peace. Anyway, interesting. Anyway, hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for episode 8 coming out soon. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. And if you want to see more from me, check out the videos on screen. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. My name's Ben Simpsy. Cheers.